इकड़े पे इकड़े मोबाइल आता आता तो पे दे ना लटक ना लटक पायसोट पकड़ ले हाँ हाँ ये आता सांदन वैली इज ऑल्सो नोन एज दी वैली ऑफ शेडोज और शेडो वैली ड्यू टू द डीप नैरो जॉर्ज दैट अलाउज वेरी लिटिल सनलाइट टू रीच द वैली फ्लू इट इज अ फेमस ट्रेकिंग एंड एडवेंचर डेस्टिनेशन इन महाराष्ट्र इंडिया द वैली इज लोकेटेड नियर द ब्यूटिफुल सयाद्री माउंटेन रेंज ऑफरिंग अ थ्रिलिंग एक्सपीरियंस हेलो फ्रेंड्स Welcome back. So we have reached at the base village of Sandan Valley. As you can see, there is the board which shows as Sam Samrat. That means this is the village name Samrat. And whenever you have to go to Sandan Valley, you this is the village where you have to come. Okay. Now on my left hand side, this is the way to Sandan Valley. Let's go. Now we have reached at the entrance gate of Sandan Valley, as you can see over here. Now we will start the actual trek from here. Let's go. To reach Sandan Valley from Mumbai, you need to come to Kasara railway station, and from there a private taxi. charge is around 2000 rupees which is convenient if uh, you have maybe around 8 to 10 people with you and alternatively you can take a bus which cost around 80 rupees per person and drops you at samrat village however if you prefer to take the bus you must reach kasara railway station before 8 pm otherwise there won't be any buses available later and if you are coming by your own vehicle you need to reach shindi via the kalyan kasara igatpuri koti route and from there you can proceed to samrat village This valley is carved by water of the Sandan River, creating a deep and narrow gorge. It has towering rock walls on both sides, some reaching up to 300 feet. Now, Sandan Valley is a popular trekking destination, offering a unique blend of hiking, trapping, and rock climbing. Thus, the trek involves navigating through rocky patches. water pools and narrow passages and one of the highlights of the trek is uh, rappling down steep rock faces adding an adrenaline rush to the adventure Now here the best time to visit Sandan Valley is maybe in winter that is from November to February you can go in March also March May April 
because the best time to visit in winter is because the weather is cool and pleasant. आराम से ते बघ तिकडून आहे ना आम्ही इथे तो मोठा दगड आहे ना त्याच्यावरती असं झिपलाईन करायचो पहिला चल 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 तो सेल्फी पॉईंट आहे शाळेचे पूर दिसले असते कुठे आवाज निघते Trekkers often camp overnight at the base of the valley enjoying the serene natural surroundings and starry skies. Now the Samrut which serves as the base village for the trek to Sandan Valley. So as we continued our journey through Sandan Valley, we come across another unique challenge and uh, that is crossing a small water body that's formed from clogged water and it's almost like a miniature river and the only way to get across is by using a makeshift boat created by the local villagers. And, uh, as you can see, this boat is quite an interesting creation. It's made from a drum that's been cut in half and repurposed. And it's a simple and ingenious solution showcasing the resourcefulness of the local community. And sitting in this boat, you really feel connected to the surroundings and it's another layer of adventure to our trek. And as we carefully sit in the boat, it's a bit of balancing act but it's safe and sturdy. The gentle rocking of the boat as we make our way across the water is quite peaceful, offering a moment to relax and take in the stunning views around us. And just look at this incredible view. The valley stretches out before us with lush greenery and rocky cliffs and this drone shot captures the beauty and the vastness of the landscape. highlighting just how special this place is the combination of natural beauty and adventure makes sandan valley a truly unforgettable experience Sandan Valley is a geographical fault line formed due to the movements within the earth's crust resulting in such natural formation on the surface. Now Sandan Valley is 4 km long and 200 to 400 feet deep. Its width varies from 15 feet to 25 feet which prevents sunlight 
from reaching the valley leaving it in constant shadow hence it is locally known as the valley of shadows If uh, you are coming for Sandan Valley trek then there are various nearby attractions first is Kalsubai peak that is the highest peak in Maharashtra offering breathtaking view of the surrounding region then there is Ratangar fort historical fort that provides panoramic views and is a popular trekking destination and last is Bandardara a scenic hill station known for its waterfalls lakes and lush greenery It is advisable to go with experienced guides or trekking groups, especially if you are not familiar with the terrain. And proper trekking shoes, harness for rappling and camping gear are essential. And adding to another point is that fitness and reasonable level of physical fitness is requested to navigate the challenging. Uh, several sections of the trek आता ये खाली लटकायचा आहे अजून एक पाव राईट वाला पाय आहे ना तो खाली टाक राईट वाला पाय हा पकडतो मी हा हा घे खाली हा तर लेफ्ट वाला घे हलूहलू ये लटक येऊन दे खाली हा येऊन दे आता तू पण येऊन दे ना लटक ना लटक पायसोट पकडले हा हा ये आता हा पोचले ऑलमोस्ट अरे पाण्यात गेली वाटते
so i came across a really interesting part of the tree that is i had to dug under some big rocks and squeeze through tight spaces the ground was wet and slippery because water was trickling down from above making it a bit tricky to keep my balance and it was a bit challenging but also really cool to see the water flowing around the rocks and hear the sound of droplets echoing in the valley and it was one of those moments that made the hike feel like a real adventure and reminding me of how amazing the nature can be so as i continued along the path i came to a spot where two large rocks were stacked on top of each other creating a narrow passage underneath and it was a tight squeeze and i had to crunch down to get through my backpack added to the challenge as i had to be very careful not to get caught in it or stuck and it took a bit of maneuvering but eventually i managed to make it through and this part of the trail was definitely tricky but it made the adventure all the more memorable sandan valley trek can be done in 3 weeks according to us the first is basic level then second is pro level and third is max pro level so in what happen in basic level is that you enter through the familiar entry point and go halfway and then return and then in the second level that is the pro level you proceed a bit further on the right side of the valley where there is 50 foot rappling patch uh, you, you rappel down from there and then return half way again and the third is the pro max pro level in which you have to complete the full trek of sandan valley which includes two rappling patches and after exiting the valley you have to further walk for additional 10 kilometers to complete the whole trek okay so the trek is moderately challenging with a mix of steep climbs and narrow paths but what's really unique about this trek is the sections where you have to navigate between two giant rocks and it's a bit tricky but it adds to the adventure and if you are not used to tight spaces but don't worry it's perfectly safe as long as you take it slow and steady plus it make or the sense of accomplishment you feel after making it through is totally worth it as you can see how how i was struggling in this part oh yeah it's made or uh, it this uh, these are the thing that makes it is so thrilling right and uh, after making it through the rock passages uh, we are rewarded with this stunning view point just look at that view it's moment like this that make all the efforts worth it the beauty of nature the thrill of adventure it's all here in sandan valley
have wrapped down the second patch as you can see from here and this is the second and the last patch of wrapping and now we are going straight home from here down here. So while we were making our way through the incredible terrain, we had an unexpected encounter with uh, some of the valley's mischievous residents. Then guess what? Out of nowhere, a group of monkeys appeared at the top of the cliff above us. And guess what? They started throwing rocks down at us. And it was both very scary and surprising. What? Hey, watch out! Move, move fast, move fast. Here, here, here. Mobile attack. And now we had to be really careful and stay alert to avoid getting hit. It added an unexpected twist to our trek and definitely kept us on our toes. Then after the monkey attack, we continued our journey, sharing laughs and stories about us, our wild encounter. It's uh, these are the moments like that make trekking such an unpredictable and memorable experience. Then, despite the rocky surprise, Sandan Valley remains one of the most thrilling and beautiful places we have trekked till now. So this trek has been an amazing experience and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and if you are looking for an adventure that's a bit off the beaten path, I highly recommend checking out Sanan Valley. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more travel and adventure content and see you in the next video. Yay! Yeah.